What's going on, guys? I hope you can't hear that shitty music outside being played. <clears throat> There's some, like, band. I live in some fancy area where they have out out outside bands all the time. Dude, my smoothie bitch is making, like, all these, like, little, like, decorations for me all the time and shit like that. It's cute. She's, like, smoothie flirting with me. I was going to ask her out today, but just before I did it, she had customers, and I'm doing some work shit because <clears throat> I'm actually kind of busy, and it's, like, that busy time of year, so I'm just going to ask her out tomorrow. Based on the way she laughs, she's totally going to say yes. I don't feel bad at all. Anyway, I want to point something out also. Look, I've never met any of these people. I've, I'm loosely associated with some of them because of the things I used to do. Uh, maybe I'll go into that one time. MOA. The, it probably stands for like a minute of action or some stupid bullshit like that. But whoever the MOA podcast is. Someone sent me this clip or this video. It's supposed to have come out 25 minutes ago, about 25 minutes ago. Only the top 1% of men understand this key concept. I watched about four minutes of it, and I was like, I get the gist of it. I already know what they're talking about. Men meet women through happy and friends with women and all that bullshit. And they want, probably they want me to understand that Tiffany just has friends with these guys. And just, I, know, I, I already know that stupid bullshit. I'm only yelling at her and calling her names because she won't leave me alone. And it's been months. It's been half of a year and she doesn't understand at all. So let me break it down for you. <clears throat> okay. When I say shit like, I don't like to define things. I mean like at first. Like, I've been flirting with that smoothie bitch for about a year. As a matter of fact, um, when I first saw her, Asha uh, introduced me to Sweet Leaf. And Asha was like, I don't want you going to Sweet Leaf. And I was like, you said it was I could do whatever the fuck I want to. And then she started going to Sweet Leaf for me. And all that bullshit, because that bitch is hot as fuck, right? Anyways. For like a year, I didn't, I just, yes ma'am. It's a pleasure. You did a good job today. Here's a tip. And then it bothered her. I waited until she started asking me questions and all that bullshit. That's not the fine thing, okay? If I ask that bitch out and she says yes, right off the bat, it's defined as she's my girlfriend. She's my smoothie bitch, right? Because the whole point of all this bullshit isn't to make friends, isn't to be a player, isn't to be a pua and all that bullshit. It's to settle down and start a family, okay? If it hadn't been for the fact that whatever the fates bad luck, whatever. If Amanda had not passed away from an aneurysm in 2005, I would have a bunch of kids right now and be married for like 20 years. That's how much, I, whatever it was, I would have worked it out with her, okay? Whatever it was. That's how much I cared about her. Because we've been through this and that and we had this and that and all that bullshit. I don't know Tiffany from shit. Tiffany's some bitch I met named Stephanie years ago who's been stalking me. And every time she's had a chance to get to know me better, she runs away to Korea and hangs out with other dudes. Okay? So, she hasn't even officially told me that she's Stephanie. I just figured it out after she stole my money. All right? I don't want to get into that right now. <clears throat> so, okay. Consistently over the years, Stephanie Tiffany has been trying to match with me. We talk a little bit. I go for the kill. Hey, meet me here. Let's do this. Blah, 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 blah. And probably she was saying no because she was in Korea right? Using global settings on Tinder. But she never wanted to go anywhere. She never wanted to do it. She just wants to just be friends. And I told her, I'm not looking for a friend. Because that's just one more thing she's going to be giving attention to other than raising the children in the family I want to start. When I was in my 20s, when I was in my 20s and early 30s, I had tons of girl, girls who were just friends. How do you think I met in Tenebris, the fucking goth band and whatnot that I got thrown out of or all that before they reformed into in Tenebris? They speak, no, no, they reformed into, what was it called? They were pretty big. Bella Morte. I got thrown out of Bella Morte before it was Bella Morte. Fuck you, Dan. <clears throat> this motherfucker, the first time I saw him. First time I met this dumb motherfucker, people were trying to teabag him. I'm not even kidding. I'm not joking. I'm, dude, I'm not joking. I walked into the apartment. For, I was working as a busboy at 
Outback Steakhouse in Charlottesville, Virginia. And I walk into our apartment after working like a double shift. And I swear to God, there's all these goth motherfuckers with the leather and the spikes and the mohawks and the painted faces and all that bull. And that's also the first time I met Jessica, the half Korean bitch. She was hot. She was half black, half Korean. She had the biggest ass I've ever seen. She still calls me honey lips. These dumb motherfuckers. Two of them were holding his arms. Some fat fucker they called McGrew was sitting on his legs. And some other dumb motherfucker had his pants all the way down, his balls dangling like this far from from his fucking face. And I just like, the fuck off of him! Fuck you doing, you fucking crazy perverts! Fuck out of here! And everyone like left and all that bullshit. After 30 minutes of talking to that dumb motherfucker, I was like, I should have let them teabag him. What a dumb motherfucker. They just, just would not leave. Kept trying to move in. Would do stupid shit like leave like 50 cents on the table and be like, bro, you gotta let me in. I left my bus fare on the table. I don't need friends. I've had plenty of friends before. Okay? What I need is someone to make babies with and then raise those babies with. So if you want to be friends, then you can go be friends. I guarantee you there's some other dumb motherfucker spending money on her and that's why all this bullshit happened. I guarantee it. I guarantee it that when I got the feds involved, she ran to someone else and said, let me use you now, motherfucker, but don't touch me. You make me disgusted. And they probably did. There's so many motherfucking losers out there who can't wait to be used by Tiffany Wang. Why the fuck do you need me around? You don't, you stupid whore. And I'm not going to be around you because you are a ghettos used goods whore. And I'm, I'm not sending you Popeye's coupons anymore because I'm getting ads for Popeye's now. I don't give a shit, okay? I don't even like Tinder, okay? I think it's probably Tiffany, but... If there's a, if, if I meet a really hot other Asha on Tinder, I probably will. Because I know it will t piss Tiffany off. I don't really want to. I would just rather make something like the smoothie bitch work because she has an East Asian face and is hot. Okay? I do not want to waste time making friends with your stupid friends. I want to waste time getting you pregnant and having you raise the babies. I'll help you out too. That's why I work remotely. So I'm supposed to believe, according to Anna, Anna Akana, I'm supposed to believe, according to Anna Akana's video, if I'm reading in between the lines correctly, you stupid fucking horrors who always want to team up on me and get three fucking Asian bitches to team up on me, which I would love to do, but not in that way. You're not teaming up on me in the good way. I'm supposed to be like, you get one, then you get one, then you get one. Not you all analyze me and shit like that. If you're implying that Tiffany was trying to impress me by showing me how gangsta she can be, the problem with that is it involves her hanging out with other dudes instead of with me. She's retarded. She turns everything into a fucking competition. You don't see me wearing pink bows and going around trying to fucking dance on stage, do you? Because I'm so mad she did. Look how posh she is. I need to fucking get more posh. I don't give a shit. I do not give a shit. I'm busy. It's 7.49 and I'm doing research and studying because I am trying to make sure some shit goes correct tomorrow. So I had the free time to ask the smoothie bitch out because she has an East Asian face. So I do not want to make friends with you all. I don't. If Tiffany wants a friend or needs a friend, she doesn't need to be involved with me in any way, shape, or form. She's not involved with me in any way, shape, or form. There, I, I've said back then, and I'm reiterating now, why the fuck would I want to be involved with someone who's not going to put me first? You literally stole a bunch of money. Whether or not you were able to use it, we'll see what the feds say. But you stole a bunch of money to go whore around with a bunch of dudes. I don't want to be friends with you. I don't want to be in a relationship with you. I don't want to start a family with you. Because you're a stupid, used, goods whore. And you chose that on your own. Because this was all... And... This isn't some shit we talked about after the fact. 
before she did any of this bullshit. She told me soulmate. She told me we're going to buy a house together. She told me she wants to have at least this many kids and all that bullshit. Then she stole all the money and whored around with a bunch of dudes. So even by your rules, Mr. Moa, she's still a fucking ghetto used goods whore. Wouldn't you say? I'm going to get my work done so I can fuck the smoothie bitch. Have a nice day, everyone, unless your name is Tiffany motherfucking Wang.